Match day 11 would see the final two matches of Group B play out with action and excitement with every kick of the ball. From Croatia versus Italy and Albania versus Spain, a great day of football would see two teams advance to the round of 16 with the other two sides being sent home. Here's everything that happened today at Euro 2024. The first match of the day would see Croatia take on Italy and Leipzig. The best chance of the first half would come in the 25th minute as Alessandro Bastoni's header would require a great save from Dominic Lavakovic. Apart from that, it would be a pretty boring first half with only 5 shots between the two sides in a very tight contest. The second half would open up with much more action and excitement as Davide Fratesi's handball in the Italian penalty box would lead to a Croatian penalty in the 50th minute. It would be Luka Modric who would step up to take it, but Gianluigi Donnarumma would make a spectacular save to keep the game level at 0-0. The Croatian captain would redeem himself just minutes later as he would slam home a rebound from a Donnarumma save in the 50th minute giving Croatia a crucial 1-0 lead. Italy would do everything they could to try and find an equalizing goal and when all hope was lost an unlikely figure would step up to save the day. After an absolutely incredible run by Ricardo Calafiori into the Croatian half, his pinpoint pass would find Mattia Zaccagni. After a beautiful first time strike into the top right corner, it would be Italy who equalized 8 minutes into stoppage time bringing the game level at 1-1. As the final whistle blew, it would be the Italians crying tears of joy while the Croatians would be crying tears of despair. Italy would find themselves in second place after this match while Croatia would have to settle for third place in Group B. The second match of the day would see Albania take on Spain in Dusseldorf. Albania would start the match in possession, but it would be Spain who would strike first. Almost out of nowhere, it would be Dani Olmo who would play a beautiful ball to Ferran Torres who would slot it home in the 13th minute, giving Spain an early 1-0 lead. Spain would lead the way with 60% possession in the first half, but neither side could capitalize on their chances as the game would go into halftime at 1-0. Spain would come out of the break looking for a second goal and Hosulu's attempt on goal would come ever so close to reaching the back of the net in the 48th minute. Albania's best chance of the game would come in the 64th minute, but Alejandro Broya's shot would be saved by David Raya, keeping the score at 1-0. The game would remain stagnant until the final whistle as Spain would come away with a 1-0 win, eliminating Albania from this tournament. After a crazy ending to the Croatia vs Italy game, this is how Group B would finish. Spain would come out on top with 9 points, Italy would finish in 2nd place with 4 points, Croatia would only manage a 3rd place finish with 2 points, and Albania would find themselves at the bottom with 1 point. Spain will have to wait until the end of the group stages to determine their opponent for the round of 16, while Italy will face off against Switzerland in 5 days time. But what did you think of match day 11 at Euro 2024? Let me know in the comments below as well as your predictions for the rest of the tournament. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more football content, tier lists, and everything in between, and as always I'll catch you next time!